Today I'm excited because today we're going to talk about one of my favorite topics in all of baseball and all of pitching. Velocity. Now, the minute we start talking velocity, the first thing people want to discuss is this radar gun reading. And you'll find out today that the radar gun does not tell us the whole story. As a matter of fact, the radar gun tells us very little of the story. Speed is a scalar quantity that measures how fast an object is traveling. It is the measurement of how fast something is going from point A to point B. A baseball pitcher on the mound that throws a ball at 90 miles an hour. The 90 miles an hour is simply saying that for the first 5 feet out of his hand roughly, the ball was traveling 90 miles per hour. Here's the deal. That 90 miles an hour is not a constant speed. But a pitcher who throws the ball at 90, that speed will, will decrease because of friction until it gets to home plate. Velocity, however, is a little bit different. Velocity, by its scientific definition, is simply the speed of an object divided by the direction that it's actually traveling. This is relevant because the radar gun can only measure speed. It cannot measure velocity. If you look at this next chart, you'll see why that is. Now, the fastball thrown in, its contact point is a bit before home plate. Because it's thrown in, you've got to get to it a lot quicker. The 90 mile an hour pitch that's thrown down the middle, you can allow that ball to travel a tad bit deeper. Therefore, you have a little bit longer time to react. The fastball thrown away has to travel even farther, so therefore you have even more time to react. You can see how the reaction time is greatly decreased every foot we get closer toward home plate. Well, that's assuming that we release the ball from the rubber itself. But in reality, we're releasing the ball much closer to home plate as we reach out to our release point and get out front. For that very reason, you will sometimes see a 91 mile an hour fastball get the home plate quicker than a 95 mile an hour fastball. Maybe the guy who threw 95 was only six foot one, but the guy who threw 91 was six foot seven. And based on his release point and his extension and how close he was to home plate, it allowed his ball to get the home plate a little bit quicker than the guy who threw 95. That's the first thing. But the second thing, which is the most important, is the reaction time and the velocity is often predicated on the pitch location. Now watch this. We have here a 90 mile an hour fastball. As you can see, the 90 mile an hour fastball thrown up and in acts 99 at, for a reaction time. The fastball thrown down and away at 90 acts 81. 90 is only 90 when it's thrown down the middle of the plate. With all this said, and all of this put together and giving you a logical explanation, none of it means anything if we don't go out and compete. We have got to be able to go out and compete. This information is relevant, I think it's important, but it's not nearly as important as you going out there, taking your fastball and competing with it. My job is simple. As a power pitcher and a power closer, my job is to come in the ball game when the game is on the line and take my fastball and run over you with it. Period. 